Hello everybody, welcome to Bring Back the Farm. This is an updated video uh, about my water totes, my rainwater collection system. These are two 275 gallon water totes. I have them on uh, cinder blocks to keep them off the ground. So far I have collected about 300 gallons of water from this last rainstorm and these totes are really steady you can't move them anymore just because they're so heavy but let me show you what I did down here I connected a two inch adapter and I just screwed it into my water tote with an elbow and uh, that's how I connected both water totes so I can shut off each tote right here if I, if I want to. I can shut it off. But then I have my water spigot that I attached uh, in the middle of it. And you can see the water pressure. If I just slide turn it on, you can see the water come out. But this is about 500, a little over 500 gallons of water that I can capture with this system. You can see it's on the center blocks over here too. So what I did was I put the water totes out here and I put them on the center blocks and I filled them up just a little bit so they would settle. And now that they're settled and the rain came, I mean now they're they're good. And I I don't have them stacked or nothing. I just have the two totes on this side of my house. But you can see I this this cap right here is what uh, what originally came with the water tote. And I removed this part and I put a, another adapter in here. You can see it on this one. It's kind of I use this white cloth to kind of filter to keep the bugs out and stuff because I have this open. Sort of see it. So I have it open, and this water pipe just kind of flows in there. I don't have it sealed off yet or anything like that. So this, you can see, the first time I ran it, the pipe was pretty dirty, and um, a lot of water went in. But this kind of kept all the uh, junk out of my water tank, and then it also took um, it keeps the bugs out of my tank too. That's why I have that. So that's that's how my water is connected. Let's see, it's just a normal pipe, just a one-inch pipe there that just kind of sits in it. But it just goes up. It's not it's not hooked onto my house or anything like that. Just because it's not too terribly long. But this is the system I used to. Uh, uh, connect the gutter to my system. This gutter I cut six inches off, and then this system is uh, it's just two two separate parts, and you just slide it in and over, and then it uh, it connects and it flows right into my water tank. So I'm pretty happy with it. It's working really well. In fact, it's working so well that I decided to put my other two tanks on the other side of my house. Let me show you those. Here's the other side of my house. I have my water tanks set up here. They're connected at the bottom. They're both on the center blocks again. But I haven't tied it into my uh, rain spigot yet. My uh, gutter. So I still have to do that. I have the parts to do it. I just haven't done it. But this is another Oh, 500 plus gallons of container of water storage I can have. The reason why I do this is because I believe it's, um, I, I believe the water is better for your plants, but it's also a living water storage. So if anything ever were to happen or anything like that, I have between rainfalls here where I live, I can fill these up. And I never have to store water in my basement in the 55 gallon drums or anything like that. I always have water. And I have enough to drink and I have a little bit for a garden if I need to. 
But the point is, is I can collect my, my water. And uh, from these two tanks, to, from the other side, my tanks are over on the other side over here. And right here, I collect half my, my roof's water. And uh, that's pretty exciting for me. So half my roof flows into these tanks on both sides of my house. And, uh, you know, that's why I do it. I hope for the best, but I'm, I just want to be prepared and I want to have uh, water storage so my family can always drink water. And I have my Berkey water filter so I can filter out any impurities or viruses or bacteria out of the water. And uh, that's that's why I I did this. But thanks for watching. Follow me at bringbackthefarm.blogspot.com. I haven't updated it uh, lately, but I'm going to put my projects on it. You can see my my other projects that I'm doing. I'm starting to build my mint lighter. My mint lighter gar garden's going to go over there, and then uh, all of this space is going to be potatoes and corn and different stuff like that. You can see my chickens and I have my compost bins over here and the chicken coop. The chickens seem to like that. But that's, that's my little homestead so far and I just hope to keep improving it one thing at a time. But my, uh, my overall goal is to find a way to save money and uh, to be more little a little more self-sustaining here at my house. So, thanks for watching again. This is Bring Back the Farm, and I will post more videos and updates. Thanks.